Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Mioni. Today I'd like to look at the recent addition in patch 4.01, the ability to get cracked clusters from the leveling roulette. If you play as the adventurer in need, so if you are a support class, be it a tank or a healer, there's a good chance you might see this tag on roulettes in text form. What it doesn't say is that if you complete the leveling roulette as the mention role, this is the leveling roulette only currently, it being tank for majority of the time, you will receive a cracked cluster for your time. Now, people will ask what cracked clusters are. Essentially, in Ralga's Reach, you can redeem a single cracked cluster for a piece of materia grade 6 from this vendor on screen now near the repair merchant. What makes this significant is that the reward can be repeatedly obtained as long as that tank is on the leveling roulette for the tank, for example. There are no limits on how many you can receive per day, only limited by how fast you can clear the instance. Now, cracked clusters in themselves are not too difficult to obtain. They added some to Chloe's Wondrous Tales book now from Idleshire each week as line rewards, and they can be acquired regularly from a a rank and above hunt. My advice would be to join a hunt link shell as they spam out when one is up with coordinates to help you get there. Join a group once you're at a hunt, kill it and you get a 50-50 chance of getting a crack cluster from the kill if you obtain full participation in that fight which simply involves hitting on it a lot until it dies. Some people might see this negatively some might see it as an incentive to actually play tank in this roulette. So my point then is that this is leveling roulette. It covers a great deal of instances ranging from level 16 to level 69. It's very broad and as much as putting more tanks into the mix, will this really alleviate the problem of simply having more DPS in this expansion than normal with Red Mage and Samurai being new and attractive to players? Perhaps rewarding the DPS based on the duration for their time queuing, they could get some clusters or something, that would be an interesting idea. I mean, personally, I would try to implement something akin to World of Warcraft's reward bag system, from queuing for instances in need rather than adventurers in need. Give this bag a low percentage mount or something, even a piece of glamour would be enough, but place the bag as a reward on instances people are trying to queue for. The longer they're in queue, the more likely a bag would appear next to it and as a reward. This is all brainstorming from me, and we don't know which direction Square Enix are going to go with this. But what do you think should be implemented to deal with the duty congestion? I'd love to know below the video and how long you've been waiting in a queue before if you're a DPS. If you found this video interesting, please leave me a like. And if you want to be notified of further videos, please consider a subscription. It really does help. Thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you next time.